of all, they suck at hunting. They spend their days lazing around, sleeping and sunbathing, and when they are on the verge of dying of starvation, they finally get up to hunt. That's obviously after they send the females to do the job first. And then they just go after the weakest link of any animal they hunt. You know who needs to be humbled the fuck down? This lazy piece of bones and skin. This is my official statement on why lions absolutely don't deserve the title of king of the jungle. First of all, they don't live in the jungle. They live in the savannah. How are you the king of somewhere you've never been? It's giving British monarchy. Second of all, they get outperformed by literally every other contestant to the throne on every level. We all know cheetahs are the fastest animal on land, reaching 120 km an hour. Lions can do 56. Hyenas, although not as fast as a lion, have way better endurance, which arguably is a better trait for hunting. Have you ever seen a lion run? They have the cardio of a gym bro. Third of all, they suck at hunting. They spend their days lazing around, sleeping and sunbathing, and when they are on the verge of dying of starvation, they finally get up to hunt. That's obviously after they send the females to do the job first. And then they just go after the weakest link of any animal they hunt. Now let's talk about who actually deserves that title. Breaking news, tigers actually live in the jungle. Second of all, they are way bigger than tigers. Even an average sized Tiberian tiger is bigger than the biggest lion we've ever found. Tigers are solitary, meaning they don't rely on their females to feed them and are way better at hunting because they can move alone. Tigers can swim, like really well. Add to that that they're excellent climbers and are really good at camouflage. I don't see why they are not getting the title. I don't know who I need to call to get the legislation going, but start educating the youth properly. Lions are just the perfect example of pretty privilege because if it wasn't for this crazy haircut they have going, they would not be on anybody's radar. Lions are the symbol for white people. They literally see themselves in lions. And when you define lions, you define white people. This is why they regard them as the king of the jungle. Because they, like lions, they get to send everybody else to do their job that they don't want to do. This is why, as Africans, we regard leopards as more significant. There's actually more pride in wearing a leopard skin than wearing a lion skin. And we use them throughout our cultures as our symbol. We would never use a lion. It's white people who use lions because white people are lazy, number one. They also colonize other people's areas, take over those areas, and then claim them as their own. They live in the wrong environment that they shouldn't be living in in the first place like lions also so this is why they reserve and hold high esteem when it comes to lions and call them the king of the jungle when they are not white people also believing that they are superior to everybody else when they are not when they have the weakest skin of everybody else like they couldn't survive in certain climates because of their weak skin not to mention that their organs due to their skin makes them very weak this is why they call them the king of the jungle we don't call them that. Black people don't call lions king of the jungle. It's only the ignorant ones who likes to follow in the steps of white people. But those that know know that we regard and value leopards. It's even much harder to hunt a leopard due to its skills. It's so much easier to hunt a lion and you can easily catch it. At least the male one. So when they created Simba, that character of a lion, they were creating themselves in that character knowing also that they use females as well to do the most and then regard them as weaklings. Mm -hmm.